briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit heard the case of Sanders v. John Nuveen and Company, which centered on liability for damages caused by false or misleading information in the sale of securities under the Securities Act of 1933. The case involved 42 plaintiffs who purchased unsecured short-term promissory notes issued by Winter and Hirsch, Inc., and sold through underwriter John Nuveen and Company, Inc. The purchasers alleged that they were misled by the false and misleading information in commercial paper reports issued by Nuveen and sought damages under Section 12.2 of the Act. After multiple appeals, the case was remanded to the district court to determine the plaintiff's claims under Section 12.2. The district court found in favor of the plaintiffs and entered judgment accordingly, stating that Nuveen had breached its duty to make reasonable inquiries that would have led to the discovery of the issuer's fraud. On appeal, the court affirmed the judgment, ruling that the plaintiffs could recover under Section 12, 2, from the defendants who controlled Nuveen, as the commercial paper reports were false and misleading. The court was unable to determine the validity of the defendant's argument that purchasers could only recover from their immediate sellers under Section 12, too, but upheld the judgment nonetheless. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class behind.